In this video, I'm going to show you how to save video in Microsoft Edge. So I'm in apple.com and I'm visiting Apple Vision Pro uh, website. So now here, if you see in the background, it's, it's kind of a video component. Now, uh, the background can be an image, it can be a video component, it can be a GIF animated uh, videos. Uh, so all those things are possible. So now see what happens. If I just scroll, uh, you will see that the video plays automatically over here and then I can pause this video, you know. So if I'm scrolling, this video plays and then I can pause this video from here. I can play the video from here, okay. So in this screen, if I just do a right click, then I click on save video as, then it will uh, allow me to download it, okay. So let me save it. So I'll call this as Apple, okay. And um, I'll try to play that video from here. Okay, so let me open this. Now it is opening in my video media player, and you can see that I have downloaded a video which is of four second. Okay. Now, depending on the website, uh, you will be able to download the videos uh, if it is available for download and if it's a video file in the background. OK, so let's look into some different example. Now, you can explore Apple website, you know, and it will have a whole bunch of things uh, with regards to it. Uh, so let me click here and go to a uh, Microsoft website. So I have, I'm in Microsoft.com and I'm in Microsoft 365 Word. So if I navigate to this website, I'll see some sort of uh, animated videos in the website. So this is an image because how I come to know this is an image is because if I hold my mouse, I can see this visual search icon. Now if I just scroll down, I can see that this is one of the video. Okay, so I can pause this video, I can play this video. Uh, and if I do a right click over here, then I can save video as, and let's see what it saves as, okay? So maybe up-level your writing journey. So I'll click on save. And once it is downloaded, I can open this file and it will open it in your favorite uh, video viewer. So in my case, it's Windows Media Player. And you can see that this file is currently loading. This is an MP4 file and it's a 16 second uh, file, okay? So what I've done is I've just did a right click in Edge and then I've saved that video as a uh, MP4 file, okay? So that's about it. Then, uh, will it work for every website? Uh, the answer is no, okay? So what people might go, uh, people might go to YouTube and start downloading YouTube videos, you know? Now I'm, I've opened one of the YouTube video which I have authored over here. Uh, now this is a proper YouTube video. Now, uh, as you see over here, this is a deep dive search function in Microsoft Edge. This is one of the YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just pause this video and I'll do a right click. Now if I do a right click, I have to see only right click option provided by YouTube. So that right click option of Microsoft Edge doesn't comes up, okay? Now if I hit right click on the edge of the screen or on the top, I am able to see edge option, but then I don't see an option to save the video. Okay, so that means from, from video perspective through YouTube, you cannot download it as a video file. Uh, next, if I go into any other website which has a backend video playing around, so like I'm in Tesla uh, website, uh, so I can see that there are some uh, background animation which is happening. So let me refresh this again to show you here. So as you see over here, there's a like a lot of uh, animated images in the back end. Uh, what I can do again, I'll just click on uh, do a right click and try to save it. But then I, again, I don't see that option. So from here, you cannot download that save video as and save it as MP4. Similarly, going to the other website, aws.amazon.com, and Amazon has a good learn material. So I am in accidentally uh, went into Amazon DynamoDB and I can see there's a video component, okay? Now, if I do a right click, I can't save this as a video file, okay? Why? Because under the hood, this is a YouTube video. So if I click on play, then this is a YouTube interface, right? Now it will start playing from YouTube. Now again, from YouTube, I mentioned to you, if you do a right click, you will be able to see only YouTube related 
uh, links okay so you cannot download this going to uh, openai website so openai.com so i'm in the sora um, uh, application so it's, it says create video from text then there is a play and pause button over here so if i uh, click on play then i can see some animation i do a right click i don't see that option okay so uh, just to conclude that uh, when you do a right click on your website to see some uh, video uh, then there are some websites which allow you to save the video as mp4 file as you have seen in apple and microsoft some of the microsoft content but not every content can be downloadable but it is good to know that uh, edge provides those functionalities so that uh, you can uh, download a specific segment of video if it is required that's it folks this is all about save video functionality within microsoft edge thanks for watching